I didn't record last time because it's a pain in the fucking Welcome to part two of this debacle. Getting the shifter cables is not as easy as I thought it would be. I found one for $600. Yeah, that, that wasn't going to happen. So I uh, so I found one for 100 bucks. It was the wrong one, sent it back. Yeah, I was surprised the guy didn't give me any problems. Uh, he said that was a mistake on his part, blah, blah, blah. The linkage that uh, cost 600 buckaroos dropped the price down to 200. So I made him an offer for like 170 plus shipping, blah, blah. So I paid 200 bucks for this. It's time to open it in. <laughs> Finally check if it's the right one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> yup. Man, it's dirty. So this looks right. Let's compare it to the old one. Even this thing is the same. Little screwdriver. First remove the clip. Just pull it up. Now remove this pin. All right, you just pull it out. Twist this all the way. Twist this all the way. You gotta twist this, it spins, but it's under uh, spring tension. So it's kind of hard. Gotta keep twisting it until you could. Gotta keep twisting it. Twisting it. So just keep turning it. So, and now. Now you have enough room to pull it out. Start with the old. And end with the. You. Install this like so. Put the clip on. That's how she sits. Like this. Like that. Where's the pin? The pin. I lost the pin. There it is. Put the pin right here. And twist it again. So, installing is a little bit easier. Now, before I start pushing the harness, I gotta do something with that bushing because it's, well, it's stuck in there. Maybe I'll be able to break it loose somehow. So after a couple of, uh, a couple minutes, I feel like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, messing around with this, I got it to move. Okay, got this sucker out. Had to cut the rubber bushing and just spray with PB Blaster and and just pulled it off. Pulled it out. Pulled it off of the stud. Right now I'm just gonna fish the fish the linkage through and proceed. Oh babe. Try not to damage the harness. I think it's for the airbags. One, how the hell am I gonna grab the... That's why I didn't record last time. Because it's a pain in the fucking dick. Oh, fuck. All right, I got this. I got this cocksucker through. I got this mount rubber grommet through. Put a bolt in there, 
Oh, God. There we go. Got the bulk through it. It's hard to see it, but right here. Whew. Let's get this party going. Now, you gotta put the lines through mounting bracket, like so. And this is gonna go over this. Same thing on the other one, like so. Now we have to put the pins, pins right here and clips on the other side. I'm gonna clean those up. Son of a dick. That should be good enough. I'll throw some NICs on it. Get in there. Okay. Got the first one in. All right. The other one. All right. <sighs> All right, take two. <sighs> God. Okay, now we're gonna put the pins, pins on the linkage, cutter pins, whatever you want to call it. Come on, boom, got the pins on. Put some washers on there. I'm all covered in anti-seas. Ah. I look like I had a date with Robocop. Murphy. If you know what I mean. Tighten this bad boy up. I'm not sure how. Ugh. Thank God we're all done here. Now. Gotta go inside. Take me to Pleasure Town. Oh, we're going Ladies and gentlemen, the shifter is working. Boom! Now, plug the SRS there back module. Why is it bolts? Oh, you much, much better. Oh. <gasps> Woo. And the shifter is officially all installed. I have to uh, assemble all this. No check engine. So now we gotta take it for a test drive. 
So I've been driving this pile of Toyota for a couple days now. Should tell you it's fine. It's been pretty good. Into fifth gear. Beautiful Saturday morning in Chicago suburbs. I need a ligament. Gears work perfect. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, if you ain't struggling, you ain't fucking living. So good. <laughs>